Hi guys, welcome to Charge Cars today. Well, Charge Bikes. We'll be installing a new custom brake and clutch lever to this bike. A nice black two finger setup that I got from eBay. Seems good quality. So kit like this. This will be going on the bike next, and I'll show you how to do it. So, the model in question is a CBR1000, uh, CB1000R, not CBR, but essentially the handles are almost the same. So, let's get cracking. So, these all are all the tools you need for the clutch and lever, uh, clutch lever replacement. A fairly wide flat head screwdriver. So this is the 6.5 mil flat head and a 10 mil socket wrench. And that's all you really need. So now how to take, take it off. You need a 10 mil bolt a key to take the nut off on the backside and then the flat head screwdriver to keep it in place. Like that. And then you'll need to actually screw this out too because it has threads to keep it in place, not just the nut. Like so, and don't lose them. This this is your essential. No, it's loose. That easy. Now, if you're in doubt, compare the handles, which goes which. So the brake handle is the one that has this kind of protrusion and the flat spot. And then you might not see it, uh, notice it in this or, or in the original handle. There's this um, kind of a what do you call it, a, a, a divot that you can put the, the actual ac brake actuator here into its place and it articulates. And the new handle has it too, but it can fall off. So it's this piece here and the nib goes right there. Just press it in place and then you'll have to watch that this goes here. Like so. And then just screw the old bolt in place. Start by hand so you don't cross thread it. Hmm, like that. And yes. And then use the flat head to screw this in place. And the nut on the other side. So this is really easy, doesn't require a lot of skill. You can do it if you're a super newbie too. And then the last tightening so it stays tight like that. And then you might want to try if it actually works, because if not, <laughs> it's not fun to f find that out when you're driving around. Yeah, this works really good. And this is the adjustment 
as you can see, the handle moves back and forward with the adjustment. I like to keep it the furthest back because I have, a, I'm a tall guy and have long fingers. But and then we'll move on to the clutch side. And now for the clutch side, uh, easy again. You'll need the 10 mil and the flat head. This on the back side. This on top. Crack it open. Finger loosen it. And then use the flat head to screw this off. You can use also power tools if you want to make it faster or not. Depends on you. Like whatever you want. All right, and then and then just pull it out, and then it should fall right off. All right. All right. So a minor detail that you want, might want to transfer over is this the same kind of a bushing or or divider whatever articulating part is this one. If I don't remember if this kit had it or I lost it because the clearance is not that tight so it might fall off so transfer this I don't remember if I lost it or, or just the kit didn't have it I don't remember honestly but then transfer it over and then again the same kind of divot is found here right there this divot or, or nipple or whatever and then put it here in this hole so they line up and then put the clutch uh, in place slide the bolt in and tighten it in the beginning so you don't cross thread it Like so, and then the nut on the back, like that. Like so, and now Looks cool, doesn't it? New handlebars, or no, new brake and clutch levers. Now, you'll have a different system here if you have a cable. This has a f fluid. I don't know why they, the Honda changed it, but well, that's right. And if you wonder why this is crooked, I'm doing some stuff there also. All right, thank you guys for watching. Like and subscribe. Next time we'll be putting a belly pan on this this bad bike. All right, see ya.